Welcome to another of our GST titled Philosophy and Logic. This material is from National Open University of Nigeria. My name is Dan Asukwo, your instructor. Are you writing any of the GSTs soon or you want to improve your knowledge on philosophy and logic? If so, let us know on the comment section so that we can help you out. If you are a noun student or from any other universities, this will be very useful for you. Please do well to share it with others as well as on your study groups. If this is your first time of coming across our videos, why not do well to subscribe, like, comment, and share for others too to benefit. Unit 2. Logics Vocabulary 1 1.0 Introduction This study unit introduces you to some basic concepts logicians use. The unit will focus particularly on statement, proposition, premise, conclusion, and inference. 2.0. Intended Learning Outcome By the end of this unit, you will be able to demonstrate the usage of logic vocabulary in expressing human behavior. 3.0. Main Content 3.1. Statement and Proposition There is no difference between a statement and a proposition in logic. The two terms are synonymous and thereupon interchangeable. However, logicians differentiate between statement and sentence. To them, even though the two terms are interwoven, they are not actually the same. For instance, in everyday English, a sentence is a set of words expressing a statement, a question, or a command. Thus, whenever a sentence expresses a statement without question or command, it can also be called logical statement. It should also be clear to you that in ordinary English, every logical statement is a sentence. But as stated earlier, not every sentence is a logical statement. It is only when a sentence can either be denied or asserted that is qualified as logical statement or proposition. For example, the sentence Nigeria is rich can be asserted as follows. Yes, Nigeria is rich. It can also be denied by stating as follows. No, Nigeria is not rich. Thus, the sentence Nigeria is rich because it can be asserted and can also be denied is a logical statement or proposition. Any sentence expressing questions, commands, etc. does not qualify as logical statement or proposition. 3.2. Premise. Premise is also one of the basic concepts in logic. It is known as evidence or reason. Basically, a premise refers to that proposition or statement within an argument, which provides support for or grounds for asserting the conclusion of that argument. Menea Eze, 2003-18. In a valid argument, the premises imply the conclusion. Premise and conclusion are relative terms. Conclusion does not necessarily mean the last sentence, the premise in an argument. A can be the conclusion in argument B and vice versa. For example, all men are mortal. Abiola is a man. Therefore, Abiola is mortal. In this example, the first two statements or prepositions are the premises while the last stone is the conclusion. Premise indicators. These are words and expression that indicate the premises within an argument. The following are some of the premise indicators. Since, for, as, because, inasmuch as, for the following reason, s, given that, in addition, as shown by, beside, etc. When a statement follows any of the listed words, that statement is a premise. For example, since the vice chancellor is in school, there will be light today. In any argument, the statement or proposition that comes after the word because is usually a premise, for instance. 1. There will be light today because the vice chancellor is in school. 2. Adamu will pass the test since he is ahead of his colleague in the exercise. Beside, he is very brilliant. Whenever any of the above listed words is used, it simply means that the sentence that follow is the premise of the argument. For example, there will be light today for the vice chancellor is in school. You must know that the list of premise locators cannot be exhausted. Those listed here are just few for you to know how to identify premise or premises in any argument. 3.3. Conclusion. In logic, conclusion is that proposition in an argument that is arrived at on the strength or basis of the information provided by the premises. Simply put, conclusion means to come or brings to an end. You should always remember that in any valid argument, the conclusion follows from the premises. For instance, 1. All philosophy students are wise. Aina is a philosophy student, therefore Aina is wise. 2. Abuja is in Nigeria. Nigeria is in Africa. 
therefore Abuja is in Africa. Here, the third preposition in each of the two examples, Aina is wise, and Abuja is in Africa, are conclusions in each of the argument respectively. They are arrived at based on the information provided by the first two prepositions, which are the premises in the respective arguments. Conclusion Indicators There are some expressions and words that function to indicate the conclusion within a passage. These are generally called conclusion indicators. For example, hence, consequently, therefore, it follows that, accordingly, in sum, for these reasons, we may conclude, we may infer, thus, so, etc. Whenever any of these words begins a statement or proposition, it is obvious that such proposition is a conclusion. 3.4 Inference In logic, an inference is the process by which one proposition is arrived at and affirmed, based on one or more other propositions accepted as the starting point of the process. Kalpi and Coker, 2003, 6. It is mainly a mental activity of reaching a conclusion from a number of premises. For example, all footballers are strong. Ronaldo is a footballer. Therefore, Ronaldo is strong. Here you can see that the conclusion, Ronaldo is strong, is inferred from the first and second premises of the argument. That is, it is derived from the first and second premises of the argument. 4.0. Conclusion, statement and proposition. Premise, conclusion, and inference are some of the basic concepts logicians use. However, there is a difference between statement, proposition, and sentence. 5.0. Summary. To get the best of this unit, you may need to repay it again. Also drop a comment on the comment section stating the important lesson learnt. Thank you.